What's up guys, Shane Stars here with Droid Monitor X. We have the Pixel 2 on the left and the iPhone 8 on the right. This will be a speed test measuring the speed of both devices. We'll start things off by booting up both devices in three, two, one. You guys can see the Google Pixel 2 has the lead here while the iPhone 8 is still trying to load and the Google Pixel 2 is already up and running. The iPhone 8 lagged behind just a little bit. In benchmarking alone, the Apple's A11 Bionic chip way outperforms what we find in the Pixel 2, the Snapdragon 835. The Pixel 2 has four gigabytes of RAM while the iPhone 8 has just two gigabytes of RAM. So that may make a difference when we're trying to multitask and uh, do a test between the RAM management. We'll start off with some stock applications, then we'll move on to some social media apps and then some more intensive gaming applications. So we'll go ahead and start with a clock application in three, two, one. As you can see, the Pixel 2 was slightly faster Next up is the calendar. And the iPhone 8 had the calendar up and ready uh, a, good, a good bit before the Pixel 2. Go ahead and launch the Photos app. And it looked like the iPhone 8 was a little bit faster than the Pixel 2 in loading the Photos application. Next up is the email application. That time it looked like the Pixel 2 had the slight advantage over the iPhone 8. Next up, we'll go ahead and launch the camera app. All right, so to me, it looked like the iPhone 8 came up a little faster. We'll flip the cameras. Those were just about dead even, and now we'll take a picture. And it looked like the Pixel 2 took the picture just a little bit faster than the iPhone 8. We'll start with some of the social media apps now, starting with Facebook. All right, we're both on Wi-Fi, so we should be getting the same load speeds on both devices. You see that the iPhone 8 is struggling to load Facebook. It finally loads Facebook there. And we will scroll through. To me, it seems like the Pixel 2 scrolls Facebook a little bit smoother than the iPhone 8. Definitely faster than the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 seems to lag a little bit. You see how smooth the Pixel 2 scrolls through the Facebook application. Pixel 2 seems to be a little bit faster when it comes to Facebook. Next up is Twitter and we're just using the stock Twitter app. Okay, here once again, the Pixel 2 comes out ahead over the iPhone 8. We'll scroll a little bit here. iPhone 8 seems to scroll a little slower than the Pixel 2. You see how fast and smooth the Pixel 2 scrolls versus scrolling on the iPhone 8. Once it's had a bit of time to load here, it seems to scroll a little faster on the iPhone 8. So as far as scrolling is concerned, I think we're about even. I don't know, the Pixel 2 to me seems to move just a little bit smoother than the iPhone 8. Next up, we've got Instagram. The Pixel 2 was faster. We'll try that one more time just to make sure we're hitting them at the same time here. Yeah, the Pixel 2 loads Instagram a little bit faster than the iPhone 8. Next up, we'll go ahead and load each of the application apps. And that time it seemed like the iPhone 8 loaded a little bit faster than the Pixel 2. Okay, now we'll get into the more heavy applications starting with YouTube. All right, the Pixel 2 seemed a little bit quicker than the iPhone 8. We'll start out with the games here, starting with Subway Surfer. Now, of course, we had to load quite a bit more here. Pixel 2 has it up and ready to go a little bit faster than the iPhone 8, just slightly faster. 
All right, next up is Mario Run. Once again, we're having to load a little bit more information here with the games. It looks like Super Mario Run is ready to go on the Pixel 2 a little bit faster than the iPhone 8. Really, these are surprising results to me uh, because it just seemed like the A11 Bionic chip with that two gigabytes of RAM would be able to outperform the Snapdragon 835 with three gigabytes of RAM, especially seeing the benchmarks that we saw. It just seemed like we'd be getting faster load times on the iPhone 8. Next up, we'll load Smash Hit. And the iPhone 8 gets a bit of a head start when compared to the Pixel 2. You guys saw that it definitely loaded that game faster than the Pixel 2. So out of the three games that we loaded, it was able to load one of those faster than the Pixel 2. We'll go ahead and load the ESPN web page on the Chrome browser on the Pixel 2 and the Safari browser on the iPhone 8. Once again, we're on the same Wi-Fi connection. And as you guys can see, the Pixel 2 had the page up and ready to go much faster than the iPhone 8. Okay, now we'll just scroll through the pages. Pretty smooth on the Pixel 2, a little slower on the iPhone 8. You can see that it's actually having to stop to load on the iPhone 8 as well when we weren't getting that at all on the Pixel 2. All right, so now we'll try a little bit of multitasking and RAM management test. So we'll go back to home on both devices and let's just say I wanted to uh, go to my email app. They should both be open in the background here. So those loaded pretty quickly. I'll go to my recents button here and my recents here and we'll load, uh, we'll go back to ESPN. Neither device had any trouble loading ESPN. Let's see, we'll go back to Subway Surfer on both. And they're both just ready to go with both games sitting right there in the background ready to go. All right, we'll go back to YouTube. All right, both phones had to totally reload YouTube and it looked like the Pixel 2 was able to reload a little bit faster. All right, so now let's say that we wanted to go back into, uh, let's just say Smash Hit. Both games are ready to go. All right, we'll load up the app stores on both phones, the Play Store on the Pixel 2 and the App Store on the iPhone. And we'll go back to YouTube. And both phones had YouTube sitting there waiting for us. All right, now we'll go to Twitter on both phones. And then we'll go over to YouTube. Sorry, we'll go back to Facebook on both devices. All right, so the Pixel 2 had to reload Facebook while the iPhone 8 had Facebook ready to go. And we'll load Instagram from Facebook and both of those had Instagram ready to go. They did refresh to get back to the top of the page, but they both had them open and ready to go. We'll go back to Twitter. Both phones had Twitter ready to go. And we'll wrap it up by going back to YouTube on both phones. Both phones having YouTube up and ready to go. All right, guys, you can see that it was very close. Uh, all the applications that we loaded here, for the most part, it seemed like the Pixel 2 was able to load those apps just a little bit quicker. Both phones did very well on RAM management and multitasking. They were each able to hold plenty of apps in the background and only had to reload an application a couple of times. It seemed like both phones had to reload a few of the applications. Neither phone had all applications ready to go in the background. We did load quite a bit of applications here. Each phone had to load 14 different applications. So I feel like both phones really did a great job of multitasking. 
I think the Pixel 2 was a little bit faster than the iPhone 8. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Which phone to your eyes was faster? Was it the Pixel 2 or was it the iPhone 8? Do you prefer this style of speed test versus the race style of speed test that we've done where we open all the apps once and then open all the apps a second time? Do you prefer that method or do you prefer this type of video where we have more of a real world usage scenario. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.